Hello everyone, my name is Nagesh Vanigeti, Senior Application Engineer for Server Expedium from Conceptual Software Technologies Private Limited. Would like to welcome you all to this session on Web Browser Beast Product Data Management Solution from SolidWorks. It's been two months, whole nation was under COVID-19 lockdown and designers were working on design projects from their home to maintain design continuity. We are introducing this video to educate our designers who are using SolidWorks CAD that they can manage the business continuity using SolidWorks PDM web browser solution. Ideal work environment for any design team is to work on a collaborative network under a single premises. But due to this unprecedented event of coronavirus outbreak, it has become difficult for teams to collaborate and build products. SolidWorks has a data management solution which manages file security, file revisions, file versions and file approvals etc. by setting up a database server, an archive server at your office location and connecting these client machines to your servers via a LAN network. For scenarios like coronavirus outbreak, the data inside the servers can be accessed through a web browser. In this video, we will demonstrate how SolidWorks PDM web application is going to help our designers to collaborate and build products using a simple web browser. Before we look into the features of SolidWorks PDM web application, let's see how a data management system can help an organization in building products. PDM stands for Product Data Management. We are concerned in managing the CAD data which designers create. PDM will organize CAD data on a single platform, control the access to the important engineering information, further shares the respective files to the users without anyone's intervention. And it also helps you to track the release of the assemblies for future activities. SolidWorks PDM Professional has basic features like maintaining granular level file security, advanced multi-parameter search capability, auto-replication under multi-work locations, create multiple workflows with inter-workflow links, with use of scaling of users in minutes. And at last, it has very minimal user training required because of its user-friendly interface. Before we get into the SolidWorks PDM web application, Let's discuss the prerequisites required for reading and writing the data on a PDM professional server. Let's start with the access to the data for CAD users. They need to have a web browser installed. Along with the web browser, they need to have a configured PDM world. With the configured PDM world, to access the data, they need to have a PDM professional web CAD editor or a CAD contributor license. And along with that, they need to have access to SolidWorks CAD license to modify the data inside SolidWorks CAD environment. To read the data, that is, to, add, to have a preview of the CAD files and read more information about the CAD files, users need to have a web browser installed and access to the PDM vault and a license to get an access to this data. Now, let's look into the PDM web application interface. Let's go ahead and experience the interface of SolidWorks PDM web applications. In this demonstration, we'll see how we can go ahead and log in into PDM Vault, how we can access the folder structure inside the PDM Vault, and how we can read more information regarding the file or the folder, and what are other details we could find inside a file or a folder. And at last, we'll see how we can go ahead and search a file inside our PDM web application. To access any data which is there inside our PDM professional server, you need to have a PDM login credentials. The login credentials decide the access to the files and folders. Here, you can see there are different folders which are created. Along with the folders, you can see the different projects inside the folders. And inside projects, you can again browse down and get more information about the files like preview of the files, the workflow and the state which it is flowing through. You can get more information in the data cards where you'll get the description, projects, revisions and everything. 
and in the contents tab it will tell you the, the CAD and the non-CAD references attached to the file and at last variables tab will tell us in which of assemblies the files are being used to. So that's how easy it is to use SOLIDWORKS PDM web application to access the data. In this demonstration, we will see how we can add drag and drop files or folders into EDM Vault, how we can create folders, or how we can add individually files or folders. With the addition of files or folders, how the file structure check in appears automatically, and how users will be able to check in files with the user comments. Creation of folder inside a PDM Vault using a web browser is very simple just create, create a new folder enter the name of the folder and you are good to go once once the folder appears then go ahead and check in the files select the files which you want to check in and directly say it has opened once the file entire file set is selected and uploaded then enter the final comments which a user wants to mention after you enter the comments the file will be uploaded directly into SOLIDWORKS PDM Vault, which will be made accessible for everyone who is using SOLIDWORKS PDM Vault or who has an access to the SOLIDWORKS PDM Vault. In this demonstration, we will see how easy it is to use SOLIDWORKS PDM Web application to modify the SOLIDWORKS CAD assemblies. To modify any files or any CAD files, first you need to check out the files. With this, SOLIDWORKS PDM web application will allow the user to download the files with the references. The references can be your drawings, assemblies or components and it can even include your subfolders, simulation results or the file counts and the type of the files. To download the file into your local machine, select the file and save check out. The moment you check out and next you have to download the file into your local machine. By selecting a download, you will get an option to select the download with reference. The moment you choose download with reference, you can select the available references inside the Solidworks PDM Vault. The downloaded files from Solidworks PDM Vault can be directly opened and edit the changes or to the model. After the addition of the modification of the changes or the model, inside the model, quickly save the file and then push it back inside the SOLIDWORKS PDM vault. So I have done, done my changes to the file, let me close the SOLIDWORKS and directly upload the file back to the server. While uploading back or doing a check-in again, I will enter my user comments. After user comments have been mentioned, the preview gets updated and also the version numbers. Once the file is checked in, you can further push the file into the next set of upload activities. This is how we can modify the file and send the changes for the approval to the respective authorities. The moment the file is pushed into the approval stage or the file is approved, the revision numbers are also triggered with this. You can see the first revision is triggered inside this assembly file or a CAD file. So to summarize about SOLIDWORKS PDM web application, we have seen how easy it is to use SOLIDWORKS PDM web application interface, how easy it is to upload the files which are there inside a local machine so that every user who is having an access to SOLIDWORKS PDM wall can get an access to the read data and further how we can quickly download the files with references and take an ownership of the files to modify the data. So this is how SOLIDWORKS PDM web application can be beneficial to continue your business activities or design activities and get your products faster to the market. For any queries regarding SOLIDWORKS PDM technically, you can contact me at nagesh at the zikaran.in or you can reach me out to 867 For commercial enquiries, you can contact Prasanna Yen Bhatt, Sales Engineer PDM at prasanna.in at the rate zikaran.in or to 725922808.
If for any technical assistance, you can reach out to us and support at the rate Thank you.